Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a look at the Demco Hijacker UMS Double Pivot Fifth Wheel Hitch. This is a great option for those that have the prep package in your GMC or your Chevy Silverado. This works with the 2020 and newer, so just for reference there, that's going to be the vehicles that this works with. So it's a really easy way to get a fifth wheel into your vehicle without having to worry about uh, putting in a big rail that's going to take up a lot of space. This just drops into that prep package when you need it. When you don't, you can take it out and you still have full use of the bed of your truck. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds in that respect that you can still use your truck as a truck, but you can also use it as that fifth wheel hauler. This particular hitch is going to have a lot of nice features, one of them being the jaws that are going to clamp all the way around the fifth wheel kingpin. Now I have this little packaging material here just to kind of simulate what a kingpin would look like. And you can see that this is pretty tightly in there. In a minute I'll show you how to open this up uh, so you can actually look at the jaws. But they are going to clamp 360 degrees around that kingpin, so all the way around the circumference of the kingpin and hold it really nice and snugly. Something else that I, li I like about this particular hitch is that the head is uh, has a lot of pivot to it so it can really adjust to line up with that kingpin and give you some articulation there so that helps both when we're hooking up and whenever we're disconnecting so even if you're on uneven ground or you're not perfectly lined up it should still uh, make it pretty easy to get hooked up or disconnected also while you're traveling that helps to kind of take up some of the road uh, Jar, jarring and some of the movement of the road as you're going uh, down your way. The third thing that I like about this is that we have quite a bit of adjustment as far as the height of the head. We'll have four different positions for our head so you can get that dialed in to um, accommodate for the height of your truck bed uh, or the, the side rails on your truck bed. The distance or the total distance is going to be three inches. Each of these holes is an inch apart so at the top, you would have three inches to go down from there, or at the bottom most level, you'd have three inches to go up from there, if that makes sense. So let's take a closer look at how this actually operates. To open up the jaws, you've got this safety pin and clip. Something that's nice about that is that it is tethered to the arm, so you can't lose that. That's one thing that I always look for. It's like, I don't want to have to put anything down that can then be forgotten forever. And then once you have the pin out, you're just going to pull on that handle until it locks into place. So it should come all the way out. There are two holes here that are going to come past this little sleeve. So once that's out, your kingpin can come out as well. Woo. Actually, I just deployed it back again. but. This is kind of an awkward setup just because this is a, a piece of packing material, but it does simulate better than anything else that I have here in the studio how this is going to operate. So if we lock it open, it shouldn't uh, close back up on us. You can just put that pin through one of the holes there and then can push this guy out. Again, this is a struggle for me just because I'm one person pushing on this little piece, but you're gonna have the whole weight of your trailer to hold it uh, in place against this, so it'll make it easier. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, but as I pull this out, the jaws just get out of the way, so it does hold really nice and tight around that kingpin. But as you can see, by having that pin in place, I can remove this all the way and um, take that out of place. So now I'm going to remove this pin so you can see what the jaws look like when they're closed without that guy in the way of your view. It snaps back into place, so you definitely want to watch your fingers whenever this is going. But you can see how the jaws are going 360 degrees around. They're going to completely uh, surround that kingpin and hold it really nice and tight. Whenever you are ready to hook up, it's just a matter of pulling that pin back out. And then as you uh, back up to your fifth wheel trailer, 
that pin is going to uh, deploy out this bar and the jaws to close in around. So we'll have both the, this pin, the square pin going in front of that and the jaws to hold everything in place. So it really does hold nice and tightly. Again, that fully articulating head allows for any uh, discrepancies and like if there's uneven ground and things like that. That handle is spring loaded as you can see so it makes it pretty easy to do. Um, our attachment points for actually dropping into our prep package it's going to be these guys here. So each one of these is just loosely installed right now. It's just going to deploy out the feet so there's a little cotter pin to pull and then this pin and then you can adjust those levers to turn the feet in place and out of place. So that's not, one nice thing about this hitch is that it does come apart into three main pieces. So if you want to, you can assemble it in your truck bed rather than lifting the whole thing in there. And that's also kind of how it comes packaged as well. So there's a little bit of assembly required. Uh, the instructions are not the best if I'm being totally honest. Um, so that is one tricky part about getting this installed, but once you have it adjusted and installed in your truck, uh, customers have had really great things to say about this. It works well, it uh, looks nice over time. It does have this powder coating over all the surfaces to help resist any rust and corrosion. That can start to fade after a little while, which is kind of typical of a lot of things, especially if you leave this uncovered in the sun and the rain and the wind and everything. Uh, so it's best if you want it to stay looking nice, you get a cover for it, but that's not really required. It's just kind of one of those things. It's up to you. As far as the weight capability with this, it can handle up to 21,000 pounds of gross towing weight. The important thing to note with that number is that that's only as strong as what your vehicle can haul and any other components in between. So you want to make sure that uh, you're not exceeding your vehicle's recommended weight limit. Uh, so definitely check the owner's manual in your GMC and in your Chevy Silverado to make sure that you're not overloading your vehicle. That's pretty much all there is to it for our look at the Demco Hijacker. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.